Hello, David here, and the project for today is a review of the Zastava CZ999. And no, it's not related to the CZ Manufacturing Company. Comes in this nice poly container that has a kind of a push pull type of thing on there. It's a little tricky getting into it. This one has an aluminum frame with a polished chrome slide. This make a great barbecue gun, and if you're out hiking in the woods and get lost, it makes it really easy to signal the rescue copter. In past videos, I've been telling you guys that my firearm videos have been backed up on GunStreamer.com. Well, I just got notified last week that GunStreamer.com is going down as of the last week in June 2020. And I have no other site at the moment for backing up my firearm videos. So, I don't know what YouTube's going to do. They keep violating the First and Second Amendment. I don't know how far they're going to go. I don't know if anyone in politics is going to be stopping them. But in the meantime, I will be looking around for another site for uploading my firearm videos. I've tried Full 30 and that didn't work out so well. It seems like only the top tier video producers are being able to have space for uploading their videos there. You know, I was joking about this latch being childproof, but it really won't open when you pull on it. You do have to push in the middle in order to pull. So push, pull. Let's see what's inside. Get an owner's manual, which is well documented and well written in English. Of course, the pistol. You get two 15 round magazines and a cleaning brush. And this came through from Classic Arms. The Sastava is well known for their AK 47s and their M57 pistols, which they manufactured for Yugoslavia. Sastava is headquartered in Serbia. Got a little history of them here. They've been in business since 1853. They've been making firearms as a subcontractor for FN Herstal and other companies. But I'm impressed with the detail, their manual, and in the back. They have an exploded drawing plus parts list. This model is referred to as a CZ-999 Scorpion and it's based on the SIG P226. It's got an aluminum frame, steel slide, it's fully ambidextrous. You can release the slide by pushing in on the button on the left side and the right side. Come on, don't make a liar out of me. There we go and the slide falls free easily and it's got a slide stop release on the right side and the left side action is double action and single action it's got a decocking lever and you cannot put it on safe with the hammer cocked you can only decock it. It's got rubberized grips that are not too grippy. It has more of a plastic feel than a rubber feel. Try the trigger pull rather. Very heavy. Went off the scale. This goes up to 8 pounds. So I gotta say this is more than 10 pounds. Might even be 11 pounds. Very, have, very heavy double action pull. Let's try the single action pull.
seven and a half pounds. Eight pounds. Very heavy trigger for both single and double action. The weight empty with an empty mag is two pounds, 1.4 ounces. The restorations on the front strap, same type of serrations on the back strap, squared off trigger guard, no rails, and there are slight serrations on the front of the trigger guard. That's where you like to hold your finger. Let's do a field strip. Drop the magazine. Open the slide back. Lock it with the slide lock. The slide lock is the same lever that drops the hammer to decock the hammer. Make sure the chamber is empty. And it is. Rotate the takedown lever. Drop the slide stop. Pull the slide off. See there's not a lot of machining marks in there. Thing looks pretty clean. It's full length rails and the, the slide looks pretty clean too. Not a lot of machining marks in there. Take the recoil rod out. It's a non-captive braided spring. The linkless browning design tilt lockup barrel. The ramp looks well polished. There is a loaded chamber indicator. It uses a visual port. Here's how the empty chamber indicator works. It's a tactile feel. You can actually feel you could see it if you look at the side and you could feel it by rubbing your finger over it. What I've done was put an empty shell casing in there. See the casing. Right there. Okay, I'm going to clean it and lube it. Trigger will fire without a magazine in place. Check the reset. That's long. That's got about a quarter of an inch take-up. Ooh, longer. Three-eighths to a half inch take-up. Get my finger out of the way. My thumb out of the way, rather. My range is closed for the virus, so I'm going to be shooting into the bullet trap. Sometimes this opening slows down the velocity of the slide, so got to take that into account. Shooting some 9mm Winchester white box, 124 grain, full metal jacket. No problem so far. I noticed that the ejection left a neat little pile at my feet. Next up I'm going to try a partial mag of this Remington 115 grain jacketed hollow point. This is my everyday carry round.
you guys that like to examine your primer strikes. I like the functioning of this pistol. I like the ergonomics. It's large and my hands are large so it fits my hands very well. I didn't show you the sights. They are three dot sights painted white and they are dovetailed. So the rear is only adjustable for windage. It's a good value for what Classic Firearms is selling them for. I think it's a great price. I'm not going to mention any prices. I like the fact that it comes with two 15 round mags, so it's a standard capacity magazine. My only dislike is the heavy trigger. And I haven't been able to evaluate accuracy because I can't get it to the range just yet. But anyway, I want to thank you for watching. For more great videos, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and click on that bell. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Gun owners of America. 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 If you're sitting at home and you contribute to the gun owners of America, stop giving. The only no compromise gun group in Washington. They're tougher than the NRA, aren't they? That's right. The NRA is bad, really bad. Gun owners of America is even worse than bad. We do not support gun control. We do not support gun control fully loaded. We do not support gun control light. We have opposed every gun control at the federal level. After days of silence following the Las Vegas attack, the NRA announced it was backing new regulations on bump stocks. Interestingly enough, while the NRA is saying maybe we should regulate, restrict these bump stocks, Eric Pratt says no.